Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, we're back, bro. We're back, we're back, we're back, bro. That like, didn't go nowhere. Man. Yeah, listen, fam. It's been a long week, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Some episodes, right? Mm. Some episodes, I look forward to them. Yeah. And this is one of them, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You what, know what I'm saying? It, is, it, is it a guest or what? Is it a guest or me? But, well, well, that, <laughs> definitely not you. you <laughs> <laughs> definitely not you. You know what I'm saying, bro? You get me? Definitely not you, fam. But listen, it is a combination of so many things, bro. You get me? But first of all, yeah, the guest that we have today, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? One of the legends in the game, bro. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, one of yeah. the ambassadors in the game. You mm -hmm. get me? One of the voices in the game, bro. You yeah. get me? We Who's got it? the Shobzy, bro. Mm -hmm. Mr. Adeshop himself, bro. What's going on, my guy? The Afro pastors. Yes, in the you know what I mean? The reverence on that, fam. You know what I mean? The reverence on that, fam. You get me? You know, all the bishops come together, fam. Because this is one of them weeks, fam. It's about to be a sermon. This is one of them weeks, bro, where everyone has to come together and bring the congregation together, fam. You know what I'm saying? Because be everyone is on a madness, fam. You get me? It's about to be a sermon. That's it, brother. You get me? But listen, as everyone knows already, yeah, this is Fresh of the Ball podcast, bro. You get me? This is where you get the vibes. Anything where you hear for here, not nah, true. true. You go. I'm saying. So before we start, man, we want to say <laughs> salute to all the freshers around the world, bro. For real, you mm -hmm. can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us, and for that, we give you salute, bro. As you already know, it's your boy Toby and your boy Kels. Salute to Kojo wherever he is, and salute to Mr. Shops the dude, man. I appreciate mm -hmm. you for having me. Salute to you, man. You get me. And also for you, on YouTube and that, yeah. Listen, continue watching the videos. Leave a like. Leave a comment subscribe share it tell a friend to tell a friend or tell an enemy to tell a friend because they got friends too yeah, yeah. you get know what i'm saying and also shout out to the audio gang as well everyone on spotify apple podcast google podcast amazon podcast um listen wherever you are man salute to you man yeah. keep on listening to the podcast for real you know what i'm saying and also to our sponsors as well you love out there man yeah, you get yeah. me without you guys we are not gonna be here bruv you get mm -hmm. me. Bro, listen, I call this episode the beef episode, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot has been happening this week, whether from Afro Beats, Whiskey, Davido, um, including Ladipo to some extent, Don Jazzy, um, Techno, Keys Daniel, and then on the hip hop side as well, you have the, like, listen, Drake and Kendrick going out here, bruv. You know what I mean? So it's just so much happening around the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, so man, like we need the energy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the energy. We, we got, we got the what the right person here. Though, <laughs> there so. you go, bro. You get me? But energy before we, God there, himself. That's a fact, though. That, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. But listen, but before we jump into it, bro, we need to do the intro, bro. Right, then, then so that we can cultivate you, the energy in here, bro. What, what, what have you got? What have you got for us? Listen. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Let them know. Is this not why you are here? That's why they're here. Mm. Burn your this is fresh out of the world. Had to come in with yeah, that yeah, energy, if, bro. If you come in with war, man, I have a peace, listen, peace, yo, peace. Let's preach. Nah, bro, preach fuck peace, peace bro. <laughs> we, some, sometimes, listen, sometimes, yeah, sometimes we need that war, yeah, so that everything can reset, bro. Yeah? On God. No, nah, but it doesn't, I don't, I don't think it needs Sometimes to we need that war so that everything can reset, so everybody know where they are, right? Because sometimes without shaking things up a little bit, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, the respect might diminish. Mm. But if you shake things up and everything, right? I personally believe, yeah, that respect comes from that. And everybody knows where they belong and eventually come together. That's what I believe. You get know what I'm saying? I, I, I wonder what, I don't wonder what energy God thinks. You what know? do you think about that, bro? preaching peace. I don't know nah, about you. Man, I, I, <laughs> listen, bars is dope. It's hip hop. If yeah. it's lyricism and people speaking in parables and riddles, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Mm. That's, you know, uh, it's incredible to to see people use words in such fantastic ways and paint different types of pictures. But it's descended into a personal attack. Yeah, You're talking about 
people's race. You're talking about people's wives. You're talking kids about people's fit. kids. You're talking about, you lose me at that, man. People say that's hip hop. I grew up, yeah, I grew up listening to the Rakims of this world. And, Tupac, and, bro. And the Kumo D's of this world and LL Cool J of this world and stuff like that. That's cool. But I also lived through eras when this thing really got dead. I see all the yep, analysts yep. and all these hip hop heads breaking it down and egging it on. Where were they when Tupac and Biggie were shot? They yep. were crying, weren't it? A lot I, I, of them were crying around, blaming hip hop and stuff. Do you know how many hip hop artists have died since, since Pac and Biggie? Do you want to pick those numbers up? Of the beef, we know what's happening with Young Dolph. Yeah, we saw people still crying with that. We yeah. know the history. There's too many gone down that lane, so that's cool. You know, initially it was fun with some jabs here and there, some riddles here and there. Yeah, but now when we're calling people's mothers' names and then talking about people having no credibility because they're biracial, um, people's kids and question calling people, you know. Why making those allegations yeah. about domestic abuse and things that yeah. really will make it very difficult for people to end, you know, the On beefs. The handshake. Yeah. For me, for me, I'm I'm lost at that. You know, I'm taking the J. Cole route where now J. Cole is cooling, you know. Yep, yep. People have their their personal lives now, people digging into their personal lives, taking tweets and whatever and posts from wives and stuff from 10, 7 years ago. Now it's come to the open, you know, personal relationships, personal traumas that they probably gone over right. is now come back to the full circle where family members will have to be dealing with this. But J. Cole is somewhere else chilling, making just as much money and we, yeah, we can all say, oh, he chickened out. But everybody Wait, and their mother. Were you one of the people, though? Yeah, but no, I, that's I what I'm saying. We can I don't all think say. He I don't no, think he chickened no, out. Me, you know? let me tell yeah. you. He, no, the problem I had at the beginning with J. Cole was the fact that he apologized for the record he dropped within 24 hours. Uh-huh. Right. That just made it feel like, uh. Mm -hmm. So you can say he chickened out. Mm. However with the kind of dirt that's in that beef now. Maybe he knew this was coming. Exactly. He now looks like somebody that's won because nobody knows anything about his wife. Nobody knows whether they've had you know, problems in the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knows whether he's, um, he's got a, a child outside of wedlock. Nobody knows whether he had infidelity issues. Mm -hmm. He, you know, his his wife and mom are not having to deal with those things. So that that's my own thing. Like, yeah, it's a couple jabs here and there. It's cool. But are you looking at it uh, that way right now, right? Yeah. Are you sentimental towards it right now because of, obviously, People, because you're it's older gone, now? No, no, because it's gone down that route now. The, the, the but latest, then, listen, okay. the, 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 the diss tracks that's been released by Kendrick, yeah. six minute long, yeah. And Drake, yeah, they've gone more they've personal. Gone to, yeah, they've gone to hell. So with they've it. gone to hell. So now that we're in hell, we gotta now look up and say, "Yo, bars is cool." <laughs> Listen, I grew up with Fuji, man. I grew up with some of the greatest musicians: Colinton, Barista, Ebenezer Obey, Sonia Day. These right. people were dissing each other yeah. in riddles. Yes. Mm. That was it. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. the, the beef is not new in black music, yeah, no, in African not. music. Go and, listen, go and listen to the to the legends, the greats of the past. But it was, it, you had to break it down. You know, it's not as open as, you know, your mama's this, yeah, yeah, your, yeah. you know, your, 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 your biracial, your this, your that. Yeah. And once it starts to go down that route, remember, some people are benefiting off these yeah. Hell Black yeah. men Fighting tearing it, yeah. each other down to shreds. And if you look at those that are going to benefit the most, it's those that have nothing to do with that culture. Absolutely. So Absolutely. if you're happy with that, then cool for you. But for me... But, but this is the thing, though. It's lost. It's bluster for me. Yep, yeah. But this is the thing, though. This is part of why we love hip-hop. Yes, we yeah. know, know hip-hop is toxic. We yeah. all, everybody knows that. We all yeah. grew up in it, yeah. right? We saw Hit Him Up. We yeah. saw Eater. We saw Takeover. We but saw we also Oda, saw, right? We saw what happened after Hit Him Up. There you go. And we saw how Eater 
you know, with Nas and Jay-Z, eventually how they full circled the whole moment and why they decided to go that route. That's the question people need to be asking. Those guys are still alive today. Mm -hmm. Jay-Z and Nas, why did y'all piece it up, doing business with each other, sitting side by side each other? What was that moment? Go and watch the interview they did with Sway. Mm. It's there. <laughs> you know, it's mm. not... A lot of these things are not done under the carpets anymore because of documentation. You can record that. Mm. Why did these OGs piece it up, come to the table, and are getting money? What was more important, those were kind of like the legendary diss tracks. Yeah. Why did they put that aside and shoulder to shoulder? need to go and ask yeah so if we're not doing that research in in front of ourselves and we're just like ah, those guys are just nas and jay-z is useless man let's go for blood okay like we're gonna get it yeah but this and is the when thing. we do get it yeah nobody but, should cry online yeah when shots this, get fired in the club i guess nobody. for a reason why we look at kendrick and Dre, we know one it's not gonna go there right but then who two, said so no, you don't they've know. started calling each other out that you're not as tough as you think you are, you can't come to my city. You can't go to my city. Now, what if he goes to his city and then his people want to make a point that you can't come to my... Come on, man. Yeah. The last couple of years, we saw that. When people went to LA talking crazy and blah, blah, blah. And if you listen to, to Drake's diss track, he's saying YG bang his set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, yeah. Chris Brown everything. giving them a shout out, saying yeah. that even though I am not messing with someone in your city, I still respect you. Yeah. That is coded word for let's not make it a family beef. Yeah. Because uh, if you don't do that, cities can it'll stand up. up. Yeah, it'll be yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's only in black music, right? Hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know, we we are still going to come into Afrobeats, right? Yeah. That we look at it as gladiators in the arena, right? Yeah. One person has to be the king, right? One person has to be that dude. And for one person to be that dude, right, maybe the goat of the generation or whatever it is, right, you have to go through this pack of wolves to get there. So beef has always been part of it. So that, that's where we need to start to teach our kids completely different. Yep. It's okay to be number one. It's okay to be number one. Remember that. Yeah. It's okay to be number one, but there's also space. For number two, three, four, five, six, number 10, 20, 30, 50. We're talking in in let's in in Afro beats, we're talking over a billion people in Africa. Yeah, but nobody wanna be number two or number three. No, 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 no. Let me tell you this. No, who said so? It's because of the way we've made it sim. That's why it, it we made it feel like being in a certain position is a negative situation. I wanna be number 40. In my industry, in the entire Africa. If I'm number one, great, cool. No, oh, thank you for that. But if I'm 40 out of a billion people, come on, man. Yeah, you, you, you got to, come on. And if we keep teaching, it, we need to start to look at things completely different because art is subjective. What you think is the greatest, to me, might just be made. Everybody has their own definition of what the art is supposed to look like. And a lot of times we never really, you know, thought of it like that until you really get into the arts, you get around people creating art and putting their blood, sweat and tears on the table. You're going to understand that. That, yeah. listen, art is subjective. Yeah. You know, this thing, nobody can just sit on the table and say, you know, this person is the only person is the greatest at everything. Drake is incredible at making music. It's fantastic. It's, a, it's an absolutely incredible rapper. It's a brilliant musician. He's a talented superstar. Kendrick Lamar is an incredible lyricist. He's a fantastic rapper. His carriage is amazing. He's got credibility within the culture. Mm. Everybody has something different to bring. J. Cole is a different type of rapper. Yeah. He's a different type of animal. He can put words together. He can produce his music 100. He's a 100 percenter. He can produce music. He can write the lyrics. He yeah. can rap it. He can yeah. mix master. 
How many people can do that? Yep. In his position, he's by himself. Yep. I you agree know, with you. And we have to start putting a spotlight on these incredible talents. If we go into our culture, which we would get into, nobody in recent times has been able to translate music live on stage in the, in, in the male category better than how Burner Boy has done. There you go. If that we, goes back to my, okay, go on. If we now go to Whiskey, yeah. nobody broke the door open if not for Whiskey. Mm, I agree with that. The star power, the talent, the risk that he took at the beginning of his career when nobody was giving people like that a chance, nobody did it. It's in the history books. Mm -hmm. He was first to show us the way that it could be done and that young people have the ability. And the reason why he's where it is, his ear for music and his taste for sound mm -hmm. has continued to be unique. Mm -hmm. David O. Mm -hmm. Nobody at that level has been able to add his music and star status and bring everybody along mm -hmm. as he's done, mm -hmm. at least in the last decade. Mm -hmm. Each one of them is unique in their own way. Mm -hmm. You can never put them by each other, but we've been part of the problem trying to put them in the same boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that we've now found ourselves in a position where a hole that we dug ourselves, we also now have to hold our hands up and start to dig ourselves out of that hole. Which goes back to my point again, right? Yeah. I, I agree with, you with everything that yeah. you said, right? But then also, right, we come from a culture where we are now in Afrobeats right now. Yeah. But all the issue that we have in Afrobeats, I would even call it issue or whatever, right, yeah. is one person wants to be the king of the pop. Who told you that? That's what it is. We always... When did they tell you that? No, Who no, told you no, that? No, 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 no. I, no, I no. think it's the, it's the atmosphere, like the fans. That's mostly my point. Exactly. Yeah. That is my point. Thank yeah. you. That is my point. But then also, when mm. you see some of the things that they post on their thing, whether it be Bonner Boy or whatever the thing is, right? What are they trying to say without really saying much is, yo, I'm that dude. None of you guys are in my... This, 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 this. I'm not... You know what I mean? Because it, most times... Because most times, everybody is reacting to something. Most times, people react. You know, we've seen how us as fans can get people to get out of their comfort position mm -hmm. and do something completely out of character. If I'm saying I'm the dude in my own box, I mean, yeah, I'm allowed to say that. You can say that. You know, um, self-confidence is also part of what propels you to whatever level you want to attain. Mm -hmm. So you can say that. You know, you have the right to think that. And people that believe in you have the right to also say that this guy, trust me, it's is the best. best. Yeah. That's cool. And that's where the issue is. Yeah, right? but, but the problem is, the issue is, Kels is the best. I tell you, is the best. But you see, Toby, trust me, man, Toby is whack. I'm telling you Boom. that. that that's is, the, that problem. Is the problem. That is the problem. That's the problem. Yep. And we're doing that based on subjective Decisions. I'm judging that based on my taste in podcasts, my taste in music. My taste in music is that I listen to a lot of Fela Nikula Pokuti. So anything out of Fela Nikula Pokuti, oh, Sonny Ade is whack to yeah. me. That's we, we do that. That's, a lot. Yeah. Whereas we do that you've a got lot. people that their own line and taste is King Sonny Ade. And they can't listen to any type of music after. We need to start respecting. Listen, I said it here before. The kind of grace that we're asking people to afford us, we also have to afford other people. Yep. If we don't, we're just a bunch of hypocrites, which I believe we are on social no, we, media. Yeah, yeah, no. At the end of the day, we are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a bunch of hypocrites. Is, it's unbelievable. But then, but then, I'm glad that you jumped into this because you get a lot of backlash. Yeah. You get whether jokes, backlash, yeah, or whatever, banter, man, right? Banter, yeah. yeah, with with this line of thinking, yeah. where yeah, we are all everybody can be good. Yeah. Every, this person is good, that person is good, that person is good, right? Yeah. And when we see which we're still gonna jump into yeah. the whole beef between Davido and Burner, right? Yeah. And then we see people like I'm gonna mention names, yeah. Dotun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's my brother. Yeah. Joey Hakan. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. All of them making memes and everything. Yeah, yeah. Saying, saying, I think I saw one. That shit was so yeah, funny. Yeah. Yo, um, Shubzy, Shubzy what, what do you think about this yeah. and everything? <laughs> and then, bro, you start dancing around and everything, right? When you get yeah. all the all the soft things, yeah. which is beautiful because, yeah. because you preach peace. Facts. Right? That's what I stand on. Yeah, you preach peace. Yeah. I'm more of a realist. Yeah. Right, I, I'm off a realist. Yes. Where, where, yes, we have this utopia of how things should be, how okay. we would love things to be. Yeah. Right, but I look at it. I look at things as how things are. Yeah. This is the this is the game that yeah. that everyone is playing. Okay. So it is where it is. Let's play to this game, right? Mm. So some people are like that. Some people obviously have their idealistic point of view. Yeah. Right. So which I believe you have, it, mm. right? Like you want, everybody should preach peace, bro, we are in this together. Let's let's do this as a movement and everything, right? So when you get those sort of backlash from people yeah. that you know. Yeah. That's and, banter. Right? Yeah. And, and banter and yeah. everything. Yeah. But then it's banter, yeah. but then they are doing it too in public where thousands of people yeah, because are I looking at it. Because I'm in public as well. I'm a public figure. I do everything I do in public. I say everything I say in public. Whatever it is that they, you see me saying here, I've said it to Dotun, I've said it to everybody else. Listen, I don't give a fuck about anybody's thoughts and perceptions. Yep, yep. You know, I've been in this game when what we were watching and listening to was not just OK.com <laughs> and Linda AKG, where people just jumped on Twitter and Instagram, or yeah. just jumped on Twitter and Facebook with comments, and they really didn't even know nothing. Yeah. I'm built mm -hmm. different. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. built different. That's the only reason why I'm here today. Mm. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about let's it. Let's talk that talk. Let's talk about please, it, Please, please do. Let's talk uh, about it. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll say this a little bit to, to come out of my character, to come jump into yours. Yeah. The position that I sit in as a fan and a culture advocate, for the last 15 years, I'll tell you this for a fact. There's nobody else in it. Mm. I love this energy, yeah, bro. No, no, okay. I, I love I, I, I this I agree, energy, I bro. I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I love this I energy. I want to say it point and clear. One, you know, I see something completely different in every single entertainer that has added a brick to where we are. Mm. Every single one of them. Mm -hmm especially for those of us in the UK. I'm not even talking about those in Nigeria. You know, I'm talking about those of us in the UK and in diaspora. Anybody that has ha added a brick that built this mansion that we're now currently living in, albeit fighting in, yeah. about to tear down, yeah. I completely give them a certain level of respect. Mm. That, that goes without question. Right. Because I saw that. I, I, we were in the trenches. Right. Okay? Number two, I know for a fact that a lot of the problems that we're encountering, especially with some of our biggest superstars, doesn't necessarily lie on their tables. A lot of responsibility has to lie with them, but there's also a lot of responsibility that circles and fan bases have to take blame for. Mm. We, 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 come on man we know what's going on on social media some of us are built in a way that we don't give a damn about social media as jokes to us other people react to that like it's yeah, life, it's life. Yeah, yeah. you know I have one of my friends calling me saying you know bro you know you know the, you know, the, the thing I'm I'm like bro I'm getting I'm close to 50 I've got kids about to go into university I'm not a baby yet no that's a fact you know so you're dealing you're, you're talking to a grown 17 ass year olds on Twitter yeah that's a fact when I'm a, a, a mm. grown ass freaking man for yeah, crying yeah. out loud yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. point yeah, yeah. I, okay. yeah so there's no point with that and then when I'm talking about saying listen regardless of what everybody feels, everybody wants the shameful thing for me in the industry is that when people are not happy with one person, hmm, for a variety of reasons, mm. they want everybody that perceives to have a status to be in the like same person. bag. Yeah. It's crazy. Like <laughs> everybody, they want you, everyone does that. Everybody that seems to maybe has a little bit of a voice, they want you to be down with the gang mm. and join 
the backlash or criticism. It's, it's called the mob mentality. So it? if you stand out, people want to call your name and, and say stuff like that. That you're compromised. Yeah, yeah. my brother, listen, man. I'm, I have a very good relationship with David O. I have a very good relationship with Whiskey. I have a respectable relationship with Burner Boy. I'm a big fan of all of these guys, regardless of whatever anybody does in their person. Remember, we're human beings. We mm. all have personal views. Mm. And you're fine to have your personal view. One of the things I'm trying to advocate against is that we don't use our personal view to influence other people to feel like that negatively. Okay. Because you have a power. Yeah. If you, you know, anybody with a microphone, anybody with a stage, you've got power. You, you carry a lot of respect, you know, a lot of responsibility. But then also, do you believe in commenting, right? Yeah. For, for example, if you got a podcast and everything, yeah. right? And even though you've got personal relationships with yeah. these people, right? And, and whatever happens, right, comes out in public. What do you think I said when I saw Whiskey's tweet? It was online. There you go. I wasn't happy with that. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a shame. Yeah, it was, it was shameful. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. there. Was, you know, if what in your body saying to you, that that. Yep. What I feel like I'm not comfortable with, you know, I'm not comfortable. That's a personal view. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with that because it looked like it was something personal and it was brought to the public. Yeah. What did I think about Don Jazz's tweet? I think I, th I think that's that's also public as well. Yeah. You know, um disrespectful. Don, Don really. Jazzy Don Jazzy is a is one of the reasons why we're here. Do you think he's an influencer? Don Jazzy is a musical influence on Africa as a whole, but he is never an influencer in that context. So why do we why do we think that influencer no, has a bad connotation? Uh, 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 we're we're grown ups here. Let's be honest with ourselves. I could have said easily that Don Jazzy is an incredible influencer on the culture. Yeah, it's different to Don Jazzy an influencer yes. now. Yeah, the, the, the context of the boom, case, man. Boom, yeah, the boom. I, I, I agree so, with that. So I, I agree with that. Yeah. So straight away, I could anybody could say that. Listen, Don Jazzy's influence on music production, on artist selection, on Afro beats, on the culture over 15 years, on creating hits, the band, to Tiwa Savage, to Kwede Bello, Ricardo Banks, Rema, the list goes on, mm. has been incredible. His influence building a record label more hits and then going to Mavens and right. then partnering with international platforms is outstanding. He's an incredible superstar mm. that influences us within the music industry. Yeah. But no, but Don Jazzy no be influencer. I agree with you. No, I agree with you. I agree with you, right? But yeah. also, I think because we call every Tom, Dick and Harry influencer, yeah. right? Which I don't think Every Tom, Dick, and Harry, because they have a platform and they are dancing on TikTok or wherever, is an influencer, bro. When I look at Don Jazzy, yeah, and, and I agree with you. Yeah. What it's just whiskey, a context. Yeah, exactly. I think what it's just whiskey, context. There you go. What Whiskey said was, what you mean? Yeah. Gonna, gonna influence it now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, so the connotation on that was wrong, mm -hmm. right? But, but then when I look at Don Jazzy, bro, he has influence a he whole does generation, bro. Let me tell you something, man. Don Jazzy doesn't feel like uh, being called an influencer is a disrespectful thing, especially when you use it right. Exactly that. Don Jazzy is aware of his influence on the culture, on his status, on the music business, on his platform mm -hmm, being used mm -hmm. by other creatives yeah. to elevate themselves into the business world and make a lot of money and mm -hmm. influence others. He is fully aware of that, but it's just the context. The way it's and, used. And then... If you look at some of the people that we call influencers, you know, the creatives within the, you know, the comedy world and that do skits and stuff like that. These are creatives of immense talent. Yep. There is no yep. way. It's not, that, no it's flu. not a flu. Bro, yeah, cool. if you're looking at the likes of Mr. Macaroni, uh, Nas Boy and uh, Sydney Talker and all these guys, the way they come out 
with storylines and jokes and act it out and stuff. Bro, under 30 it, seconds sometimes. It bro, is hard. immense talent. It's talent. That you it's can't, not you know, so I think those are clear. If there's something that I'm not comfortable with that I think deserves a, a kind of rebuttal or rebuke, I'll do it in my own fashion. Not the way the industry or what people you think do, yeah. but that why, you're supposed to respond you're supposed to respond in but why do you think way. them guys come at you do you yeah, think because it's because they want you do you think it's because they want you to 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 quote unquote go to hell yeah. right with your comments yeah. on these guys like basically drag them down everybody the way everybody has there, a style right everybody has a style 10 years ago maybe i had a style um Charlemagne had a style 10 mm, years yep, ago. Yep, Stephen yep. A. Smith had a style. Yep, Daddy yep. Freeze had a style. You know, Dotun has a style. Joey Akan does has, have a style. Everybody has a style to passing their messages across and dealing with specific things within the industry. Mine is mine and can't be changed. That's a fact. And, and we, we, we love yours, actually. That's I mean, a fact. That's a fact. I, that's I, would, a fact. I would state that on record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, we're, that's we're the fine best it. That's a fact. Yeah, Why do you think Whiskey came out don't just like that? I don't... We can't... The problem is... We because it started all, from Ladipo. Yeah, we can't um, specify because we don't know the inner workings. Yeah. But what we saw publicly was he was trying to come at uh, Ladipo yeah. and he wanted to kind of son him yeah. And, he, and then obviously he gave, gave my man a spray shot. Yeah, over so, stress, I think. Exactly. So I yeah. think that 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 was obvious. On the outside, that's what it looked like. That's what it, it looked, looked like. like yeah. He tried to fire a shot at Ladi Po, and in trying to diminish his status, yeah. he went at his boss. Yeah. And and unfortunately, the boss is somebody that us as a culture don't just know they find trouble, bro. Yeah, and apart from that, as a culture. <laughs> We see him in a completely yeah. different light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. for somebody like that, everybody. Just, it, it was just a moment where everybody, bro, I all whiskey's fans, even whiskey fans, like, yeah. ouch! Oh, I, I saw that. I was like, yeah. what? Stretch this one. Yeah. Yeah. That was painful, bro. I was like, well, but he was on one that day. So okay, bro. so before you, you don't okay. you don't think it was because I, I seen this Don Jazzy interview no. where he was talking yeah. about the. But he wasn't speaking. Spraying, spraying water. I don't, yeah. He wasn't speaking about him. He was no, speaking for, about from my understanding, it wasn't. But yeah. then again, Wiz might take care of that. You know, you because know how people, fans try. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Because people, they, okay, initially there was a little clip that people caught up mm. that they tried to make it look like Don Jazzy okay. was speaking specifically about Wiz. And then a couple hours later, people played the extended clip mm -hmm. which showed that John Jazzy was just making a blanket statement about the whole culture. Because he even and said, everybody. including my artist, does it sometimes. Exactly. So the longer clip shows that, you know, this was just a conversation where he was talking generally about the industry or whatever. Mm. I wasn't really targeting one person. Because yeah. to be honest, you know, we all are guilty of that. And that's what he was trying to say in that. But again, you know, with social media and what people, how people manipulate social media, whatever it is that we think is a tool for something, we can use it to justify our own actions. Mm. To create a narrative, isn't it? And to create a narrative. But, and but, you never but this, know. Our celebrities, why, why don't you think, why do you think they're not savvy enough to know that, you know, fans will always be fans? Because they're, they're human beings too, like us, you know. So everybody's a human being. Yeah. People react to things as human beings, they're celebrities and superstars, right? Mm -hmm. But they are human beings first. And they will react just the same way any normal person will react to something that just pops up on social media that a member or family or friend sent to them in DM saying, look, 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 look. That's them speaking about you. Do you understand what I mean? Right. Um, maybe with age and experience, those type of views and reactions will change. Mm. But it comes with time. You know, mm -hmm. it comes with time. I Again, you, you said maybe my age. Yeah, so maybe 10 years ago, I had a completely different perspective and, and reaction to a lot of stuff. Yes, I was guilty of that too. Right. I was guilty of that too. I was reacting off of stuff. I was jumping up and down too. But again, you, you live and you learn. Yeah. And when you find out that, number one, at the end of the day, the reason why we're, we're here is because we really just want to feed the family, man. That is yeah. what it is, bro. Yeah. And that part. we want to feed the family. We want to do what we love. We want to protect our own. And, you know, 
when you find out that the other person is trying to do the same thing too, but somehow swords got crossed. And whilst you're trying to protect your own and feed your family, he's trying to do that. Swords got crossed. You just got in a fight. There you go. Yeah, we are now. But it could be avoided. It could be avoided if people react to things differently. Now with AI, with, you know, all this Photoshop and stuff like that, people, there was uh, one of the bloggers, I think it was Gossip Mail, shout out to Gossip Mail once. They (laughs) sent a tweet to me in DM and said, was this really you? And I said to them... Like, Don't tell me it was could, an AI thing. It was, yeah, it was photoshopped. Someone photoshopped a tweet that I, and claimed that I said something That's crazy. about Wiz. Like, it was crazy. Uh. But Gossip Mill, even though they love gossip and try to... Yeah, of course. Someone in the edit- editorial team felt it did not resemble something I would have said. Yeah, so they reached out. And decided to reach out to check the authenticity first. Yeah. And I responded to them. And for me, that was very respectful. I was caught caught aback by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, And I was like, oh, man, no. You can go on my page, go and check my page out. Salute, yeah. Number one, that's not. But it was so, it was so perfect. It looked like a perfect tweet, retweet. It had the date, retweet. It had the time, everything on it. That's crazy. Yeah. Bro. So imagine if they had just posted that up, that would people have would have wild. run yep. crazy. Of course, some people will go and do their research on a page, but bad news travels faster oh, yeah. than the reality. Oh, yeah. So that's the world that we're in at the moment, you know, where people can fabricate things, create it, Photoshop it. People can edit clips to make mm. you think someone was saying something different. So there has to be extra, extra checks. Mm before you respond and react to anything you see off the internet. Because to be honest with you, even the stuff like with uh, Dotun posting up and stuff, that straight away, that's banter. That's my brother. Mm. But if you're just reading it by post and don't understand the relationship that I have Mm. with him Mm. and the kind of conversations that we have, Mm -hmm. you're just going to take that off of face value. Mm. And now you can run with that. Mm. And, before you know it, make it a big thing. If I'm not wise enough to understand and to know, mm-hmm. and, and someone brings that to me, I'm like, yo, what's going on? That's it. Those are the little things that set people off. Mm. And then add influence. You're probably drinking in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, smoking yeah. Smoking yeah, a yeah, blunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can go yeah. there very ah, quick. Ah, ah, you got your phone in your hand. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, go yeah. there very quick, bro. That's and, it. And, you're, and, you're, you're responding to ghosts straight away. Bro, yeah. and the thing is, once you press send, you press send, bro. You can't take it's it back cool. again, bro. Someone is snap, snap, trust it already. Someone and is grabbing it. Especially if you are a major player. Yeah. There are people that have set notifications yep. on your tweet and post. <laughs> so even within one minute before you delete it, okay, look at um, David O went on Shade Room comments. Bro, listen. But those comments were deleted in seconds. But Shade Room staff, they had it, screenshotted it and made it another headline. They are on it. <laughs> they made it on that headline, In one yeah. minute, they bro. They are on it, bro. They are on it. Yeah. They are yeah, on it, bro. There's something else. They are on it. <laughs> you go, I mean, nice. it's crazy. That that's the thing, though. Yeah. Once you press send, yeah, yeah. Even if you press send, I want to delete it. Them split seconds or whatever, someone is gonna. <laughs> Especially if you're a big, if you're a big you're gonna, player. Yeah. The thing is, though, I hear you with yeah. the whole thing of, yeah. and and I salute you because yeah. I wouldn't. I'm I'm not like you, right? I saw you with the whole yeah. thing of yo, Dalton is my brother, da 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 da, da yeah. right? Because the banter is cool, yeah. right? The banter is cool in private or whatever, yeah. or maybe on the phone, yeah. e- even on the podcast yeah. where. But we are cracking the jokes, like yeah. for example, Master Van Kelly. I crack jokes on him all yeah, the time. Yeah. He crack jokes on me, but we laugh about it on the pod. Everyone yeah. knows it's a joke, right? Yeah. But on socials, yeah. if you're posting it, right? Obviously, nobody knows if you're joking or not, right? Because part of the reason is, if I don't know you, and I'm seeing that, because yeah. I went on some other platforms, yeah. and they posted sort yeah, of like... clips, yeah. Sort, sort of like a portrait of you, yeah. right? And some Afro- of the things yeah. that they... Re- yeah, like Afro <laughs> being me, I Bro, I was like, yo, no, you know what I'm saying? This? Those what? are Twitter. No, no, just, just no, those like, are I'll like, tell you that, bro. Like I'll tell Afro you that. pastor, this, Afro this, that, yeah. this problem. That, that. You know what I mean? So, these are social media. Listen. You have to understand you're in the media world. 
Mm. You are media personalities. You are public figures. Mm. Anything you say, do, or anyhow you act can be commented on, can be used any way they want to. That's as long true. as it's made public. That's a good. You are, there's That's nothing good. you can do about that. Do you think it's easy for any one of Stephen A and Co that we sit here and criticize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. It's they not. call my man a rat so, all the time, bro. All the stuff, but you have that's understanding your position. If you don't understand your position, you'll be tricked out of it every time. You'll be in your feelings all the you'll time. You'll be in your feelings commenting with somebody on Twitter that doesn't even have full internet to watch a full video. All they can see is tweets. Yeah. A young kid in a dark... Look, uh, I think it was... Um, I've forgotten what his name. The, the R&B singer in Nigeria. Uh, what's his name now, my brother? Uh, the R&B singer guy. Um, not Johnny Drill. The other guy. Um, I've forgotten. I'll, I'll remember his name now. Rick okay. Asani. Rick Asani, okay. Somebody was trolling him on Twitter right. last week saying, oh, man, you fell off since 2000, man. I had so much belief in you, blah, 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 blah. And the guy, and, and Rick Asani was saying, I fell off. I, I bought three houses. I've you know, toured the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm still doing I, my thing. I, I built businesses where I'm making millions on a daily, da, da, da. And then in the following tweet, the guy now said, man, I just wait, hope say you go help me one day. <laughs> after, after no, 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 he, he, listen, 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 listen. So bro. he was yeah. trolling yeah. for attention. Yeah. yeah. And then the person you criticized, you are now begging for blessings. Yeah, but most of these people are fans in disguise, bro. So that's what I'm saying. So it brings me back to your point about me. You have to understand that before you even think about reacting to anything. Mm. You're dealing mm. with kids, bro. You're yeah. dealing, and even if they're not kids and they're grown up, you're dealing with people that are going through hell that what they're actually begging for is attention, attention. from you. Mm. That's a fact. So you can't, like, so when I was seeing even some of my, like my friends, saying, ah, baba. I'm saying, bro, this thing is joko. I've been in the media <laughs> space yeah. since 2003. I've been on radio since 2003. Shit. I jumped on Factory 78 in 2008 when we're dealing with the most horrific online abuse era, mm. Linda KG, mm. not just okay.com, where people just come on the blog to attack you, criticize you, attack your parents, your being, your looks, everything. Mm. Because that was the first time people in their bedrooms, in homes without electricity, can send a message online that goes and is seen around yeah, the world. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> so... I came from that era. So what 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 it is now is 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 what it is, yeah, man. You can't breath. you can't worry about those things. Yeah, it's and, my you have to, and then you have to you have to think about your own position. What is the bigger goal? My bigger goal is Afrobeats, the success of these artists and their persistence got us where we are. Some of us have been blessed to have been able to create some form of business from the culture okay. where with you know with start, with at this taste. A Start eating a little bit, yeah. We're starting to taste yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some of these guys are touching millions in dollars. So are you going to be in the pool that's trying to make sure, not necessarily that we all get along, but we all just focus on what really is positive to ensure that this pie gets bigger and people can feed their families from it? Yep. Or are you part of the camp that believes that enjoys the excitement of burning the house down. Mm. And then in a couple months, six months, seven months time, we're staring at each other in the eyes and we're back to 2012. Mm. Yeah. Do you know how many people mm. have left this culture because they couldn't make a penny off of it? Loads. We're Loads. talking media, music, entertainment, yep. people that sacrifice their blood, sweat and, sweat and tears on this culture that have left. Those, okay, so there are some that have left a healthy, alive somewhere else, some that have left depressed and broken somewhere else because they could not dig to go. Yep. And now we're in a position where we never imagined. This was stuff we were thinking about in 1993, looking at them Tupac and Co. Now that Shade Room dedicated moments to headline coming out of Lagos, Nigeria. The dedicated moments. Whiskey, Davido, yeah. Breakfast Club, just with the mess. 
was talking about David Doe and whiskey. This is headline yeah. news. Yeah, but but actually, was, was wild, bro. You, you, <laughs> yeah. So you gotta, yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah, think yeah. about where we are. Yeah. If you don't understand that, this is headline news in pop culture globally. Academics breaking down. Yeah. Jess, DJ MV Charlemagne talking about whiskey, David Doe, and stuff like they're talking about. Jay Z yeah. and Nas in Brooklyn, New York. You have to understand how we got there. Yeah, but that's where we are. But then this is the thing, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this question at you, bro. Yeah. And bro, I salute you. <laughs> salute. You. When I look at the whole thing, yeah. Honestly yes. speaking, once again, I'm coming from a realist point of view, right? Yes. Now, obviously, we are in the culture now. We we, we are in the media game. Yes. And hopefully, we we're gonna start meeting different people and everything, cultivating relationships and everything, right? So I always put myself in a position where I look at it from my lens and everything, and I use myself as, as an example. Yes. When I look at these guys and the scuffles that they are having or whatever, yes. right? And we all want to act like all oh, these guys are friends. I've always been of the belief that these guys, we are never friends, right? Yes, they were friendly, right? Because when I look at it from my point of view, you come into the industry as a grown-up or wherever, you start meeting people. Some people, you are going to be more closer to some people than to some people, right? That doesn't necessarily mean that those people are your friends. Over time, you might become friends with those people, right? So when I look at all these artists and the kumbaya and everything, which is beautiful to watch, and then we now see what happened between Whiskey and... Davido, Davido, Burner Boy, with a Shea vibes and and all these other guys and everything, right? And I look at people, act surprised, and be like, oh my God, you know, these guys were friends and all this kind of stuff, right? And I look at it, I said, I don't believe these guys were ever friends. I believe these guys were friendly, have business relationships and everything, right? And I believe that part of the problem that we are having in our industry is it's so beautiful when there's no money in it because if there's no money, there's no ego. When money starts coming in, you start having people around you. You start having different voices around you. Everybody telling you things, you, obviously your fans and everything, you start seeing things. I believe that's one of the issues that we're having in our industry. But I am not surprised that it is the way it is, if that makes sense. So first of all, they, everybody... These guys and girls are human beings. So let's, first of all, start with that. Yep, yep. As a human being, as you're sat here, there are people you don't get along with. Mm -hmm. That's normal human instinct. There's nothing you can do about it. Whether they're friends or not, a lot of these guys were actually working and rolling together cool, yeah. over 10 years ago. I'm, I'm talking from the beginning. Mm. That Maduro, there's Burner Boy and Whiskey in that video. Mm -hmm. It was all the true back in the day. Go there. They, yeah. They're in that video. Mm -hmm. And at that time, they were not... Maybe Whiskey was a superstar popularly known. David O and Burner Boy were just still just making their impact. But they were moving together then. Okay? Friends, nobody has to be friends, man. Like, you don't have to... If you don't... If this person is not... Doesn't fit in your circle, they don't fit in your circle. That's fine. Mm -hmm. However... When you get to a certain level in business and you are in the public eye, if there's they say if there's nothing positive to say, just close your mouth sometimes. Or just walk to the other part of the room. You know. But again, because of the pressures of the industry and us as fans trying to really push them together, we're not. You know, it's not about trying to make them friends. It's just about, okay, yesterday night was a concert in London. Shout out to Medical. Yep. Representing for Ghana. Sold out Indigo 2. Um, he had Shatawale there. He had Sako there. there he had Efia there. He had Bisake there. He had Jaybad there. They all came to support him. Now, this is an industry. Apart from that, he had the popular bloggers, GH Kweku, GH Hyper, Black Volta, all of these guys, Quajo Sheldon, came together because they knew that they were losing cert in certain spaces by not coming together. Mm -hmm. They decided that with this medical concert, 
there was going to be a show of unity that hadn't been seen internationally at least within the Ghanaian music scene. And they did that to incredible applause. Are you trying to tell me Shatawali and Sarkozy are best of friends? No. Exactly. But the cause was bigger than personal, personal thoughts. So why do you think we can't do it in our way? So that's where you should be. Exactly. <laughs> so that's where you should be talking to. That's where I speak to. So why do you think it's not happening? Because we literally yeah, had because, this conversation because a the weeks ago. Because the media and the fan base, to some extent, don't want that. So people are photoshopping stuff. They're editing stuff. They're doing clickbaits. They're going on Twitter, personally attacking artists. If Twitter, you know, fans who go and attack Whiskey on Twitter, attack Burner Boy on Twitter or whatever, you know, personally trying to get a reaction out of these guys. Because of things like that, we will, we might not ever see, is it, listen, just about four or five months ago, we we're talking about a joint tour for Whiskey and David O. Tell it's not about them. I'm, I'm still talking it's about It's not that about talk. them being best friends. <laughs> I'm still talking this about This was... This going to be an incredible business decision that was also going to impact the culture in a completely different way. Sorry, bro, before we jump into that thought, because that's a very important one. Yeah. Can I have the energy god drink, please, bro? We need that. Be because it needs to be, a, be right here on the camera, fam. We need that. For real. We need that. Yo, can, um, can I get one as well? We need L that. Listen, bro. Yeah, yeah, just before we jump into this thing, um, yeah, this yeah. this topic and everything, this is the energy god, bro. Yeah, appreciate you know what I'm saying? Up. This Power right up. here, <laughs> this it, right bro. here is a Deschopé's drink, man. This is you one of the I'm reasons saying? why we have to be the Afro pastor. Listen, this is, this bro, is because, because of... It's not a drink, it's our drink. Because of, uh, drink. Of, <laughs> because of Listen, Afro fam. beats, we created... Yeah. A business mm -hmm. because we, of the success. We actually drink this shit. Like, listen, we actually drink this in real life. Yeah, that's, that's, that's man, I appreciate it, brother. It's not, it's not no caca cameo mm -hmm. or whatever, but there's actual drink in it. <laughs> yeah. For everyone that's watching and listening to this right now, where can they find this drink? Energygod.com. Go on there. Energygawd.com. Go on there. Click on that. It's right there. You know, just place your order, man. We for us by us. Is yeah. right there. Let's or go. also, or also, click the link, right? That's gonna be in the description box. Appreciate it. Click the link. The link is gonna be there, and just order away, man. Straight away. For your parties, for your weddings. Let's go. For yourself as well. For everyone that's working hard and everything. That's it. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's right here, man. We just gonna drink this real quick, man. Straight away. If you Straight wanna away. get that energy, because mm. <laughs> sometimes yeah. these people they need that energy. I swear. <laughs> on God, though. On God. On God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we go into Davido whiskey. Yep. Right, because you raised the point about the tour thing. Yep. And then then obviously Davido and Whiskey. Or let's talk about the tour thing. Yeah. The conversation that we had, funny enough, just last week. Yep, last week. I look I, I looked at it in terms of the culture perspective, yes. whether it's beautiful for the culture, for the movement of the culture, yes. Absolutely. Yes. But then also the the realist in me always kicks in money economics right and when i look at it yeah. from a business point of view yeah and if you are for example now a burner boy yes who's doing stadiums by yourself yes and you're charging 200 pounds 300 pounds 600 pounds depending on where you sit yeah. right would i believe yeah business wise yes why would if 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 I'm a Bonner boy now, I'm looking at it from a realist point of view right yeah. now, right? Why would I say, yo, I'm doing stadium by myself? Why do I want to collaborate with one and two, right? Why I can do this alone? Unless if we have a pie that's a hundred percent, I want fifty percent. And then the both of you can split fifty percent. Right? Because because I do this by my own anyways. You want me to respond which, to that? Which these two w w can, can easily say, uh, nah, if we're not splitting this equally, nah. You go, I mean. Should so, I respond to that? Go Very on. easy. Go on. We've seen Drake and J. Cole on tour recently. Right? We okay. saw Drake and 21 Savage on tour recently. Yep. Each one of those venues can be filled up by Drake by himself. 
Absolutely. 1,000%. He could do stadiums too, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, absolutely. However, a collaboration with J. Cole brought together fans. Whether people like to admit it or not, each one of those artists benefit from the crossover of the fans. Absolutely. 21 Savage and Drake, it's the same thing. Let's fast forward to this one that we're talking about. Whiskey David O'Burner Boy, whatever you want to say. Yeah. It's not even going to be about the ticket prices. If I put a flyer up right now, David O and Whiskey Tour, before they leave their bedrooms in Lagos, they will be already millionaires. Pepsi is going to kill himself to sponsor that. Coca-Cola is going to fall by themselves to throw $2 million at that. Martel is going to make sure no alcoholic drink is sold in that venue and it's going to cost us $2 million. Mm -hmm. What's the rock saying? What's Ducey saying? Mm. Before they start rehearsals, each one of those guys could have bagged at least six, seven million dollars. Easy. Sitting in the bank. Mm. Now, when they go on tour, they're now uniting fans, crossing over mm. fans, mm. exciting people. It's not about the ticket prices, bro. I know. That money is already bad. Yep. <laughs> that money is bad. Mm. That, I've just spoken about sponsors. Now, let's talk about Netflix and Amazon Prime. Wanting to do the documentary for that. Live stream and all those sort of things. Live well. stream is YouTube. They've already put their $2 million on the table. Yeah. Now, Amazon and Netflix are duking it out mm. for a documentary. Who's going to get the exclusive? Who's bidding the highest? Yeah. And who's giving them the most exposure? Mm. Who's, at the end of the day, that collaboration can be worth nothing less than $20 million to each one of those artists in a space of six months. Yep. <laughs> it makes business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even but, about ticket sales. People forget that. Sponsorship with Pepsi, Coca-Cola, go and box it out. They went, beat each other in the room. Then when you come out, we'll decide who's going. So alcohol, Mattel, Ciroc, Duce, NSC, go yeah, and slap each other's there. face. When you come out of the room, we'll tell you which one is paying more. Then energy drink, energy god, Red Bull. Yep. Go and box yourself in the bedroom. You Let's go. know who's paying for that. There you then go. streaming platform, YouTube. Yeah, are you the one going to be stream? Who do X? Mm. Go and talk to each other in the room. Mm. We'll decide who's paying millions for that. Then the documentary, after concert documentary. Mm. Netflix, Amazon Prime. Apple TV, what are we talking about? Who's mm. paying the millions for that mm -hmm. one? Let's go and do that. Bro, the PR, the sponsorship, the, the exposure, the tickets. The ticket can be free. How about that? Yeah. The ticket can be free. Fan only, 20,000. Free. Go and register on this website, yeah, whiskeydavidoontour.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be in one week, there will be a million people subscribed yeah. with telephone numbers, email addresses, and house addresses. Everything will be on there. A data that everybody can convert to money later on. You won't be kidding, bro. Yeah, nah, it's, uh, hey. like I was uh, the last episode I was Shit. saying as well, it makes so much sense. Hey. Like, I don't see how, bro, why you're not we, we, Bro, <laughs> everybody will be laughing. Every yeah. night, you are laughing mm. because it's already done. Mm. And then when we finish, there, and they're only, as a matter of fact, this is all my own suggestion. Mm. They're only doing six cities. London, Paris, Amsterdam, New York, New York, LA, Accra, and we end in Lagos, Nigeria in December. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap if that happens. Bro. That's a fact. It's a wrap. Gone. Gone. So you're saying that the only reason why <laughs> bro. this is not happening yeah. is just Fans and egos. That's all, brother. It's as simple as ABC. That's mm. all. But why, Everything why? else is laid on the table. So, so why is it, yeah, that we don't have, right, yeah. the head honchos in the game, whoever they are, right? Say, yo, Maji, come in the room, bruv. You look, come in the room and everything, bruv. Let's have a chat, bruv. This is, we are all missing out on a bag here. Why, why is because it that we don't have those sort of people? like Toby will be in the room one of those sides to say, nah, man, you're big, you're the bigger artist, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that Fact. nigga. Fact. That, that nigga, listen, Fact. that brother need he needs us. 
<laughs> there's going to be Toby in the room saying, he needs us. And then on the other side, there's another Toby there saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck that, man. Yeah, listen, man, you can do it on your own, bro. Yep. <laughs> no I mean, listen, bro. Listen, this this is my own thing, yeah. So that's it. I agree with you. We we all want to see this. Problem. It's, we all so we all want to see that's this. That's it. Bro. Remember, Afrobeats is in a position now that the excitement is, has been lost because of a variety of reasons: high ticket prices, high yeah. artist charge that's rates, crazy. yeah, and and people not really putting in the work on some of these shows like they should. Mm. So the excitement is gone mm. in a lot of ways. But if you want to bring excitement back, yesterday at Medical, that was an exciting show nah. because the fans felt like they were at an African party and they got to see so many see things happening. Yeah. So imagine going to now, let me even add the caveat, mm. right? Mm. Whiskey and David Oto, but every city each one of those artists is going to bring surprise guests on stage. Mm, mm, mm. So in LA, Davido brings out Chris Brown, Whiskey pulls out Drake. Shit. In Ghana, Davido brings out Stoneboy, Whiskey pulls out Shut Out to Be. Mm, listen. Before you move on. <laughs> Come on, man. Before you move on. I was getting excited. No, 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 no. no. Before you move on. No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. That's the thing. Listen, listen, bro. That's why we need this thing. Yeah, of course. You just mentioned R2Bs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I was standing on this hill. It's probably a hot take. Yeah. Right. I believe some of Whiskey's songs, right? Mm. Songs like, um, is this CCTV? This is Whiskey R2Bs. Shout out to R2Bs, man. Let me, let One me. of the greatest musicians out of Africa representing Black Stars, Ghana. Let me find One of the song, most incredible bro. talents with a catalog that's unprecedented, bro. Yeah. I've always bro, said this, bro. Timer, People bro. who lose their minds. Bro, this song. <laughs> sexy, sexy yeah. girl from Ghana. <laughs> she too fine. Yeah. She one of a kind. She got it's sexy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I forget, bro. I've always said, yeah, this is probably a hot take, yeah. You see this song? sweet, yeah. like man. The show will scatter everywhere. <laughs> you see Every this song, Every one yeah? of us will be lined up. We will, we will try to get press passes. We will register as fans for free ticket. We'll because do because you know what me miss out, bro. You know what miss out. You know what miss out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to miss that, bro. Anyway. Now, so we've said all of that. Yeah. Now let's talk about catalog of hits. Each one of them, you don't even know. You can go on a website to go and vote for the song you want them to perform. Mm. It's crazy. It's too many angles. Oh. Yes. Young Jeezy. Oh Young Jeezy did that. Young Jeezy did that. Young Jeezy did that in, in one of his shows and everything. He asked too the fans to go many. and just nom nominate the song. Just that go. That yeah. When he's that coming to London, when they're coming to London, we go on a website, whiskeydanddavidotor.com. Yeah. Go and vote for, vote for the songs you want. 20 songs that each person is performing. Yeah. You'll be surprised at the songs that they'll have to play. Yeah, because the because thing is... Because fans will go to crazy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, be, be, because the thing oh, is, right, no. the artist song that moves in London might not be the same song that moves in Amsterdam. No, it's yeah. different. You know it's what I mean? So, yeah. so obviously, yeah, they do that and everything, right? Yeah. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. That one paid me. Because I remember when Whiskey posted that on his Instagram story. You know how happy we were? That what? That you know him and Dagda was we going to go on tour and everything. <laughs> even, when, even when I saw them in Lagos and I had just left Whiskey and went to Cool FM to go and watch something with them, Dotun and everybody. And I saw the pictures of Wiz and David, man, bro. I felt like I won a million dollars, bro. Mm. <laughs> bro. Like mm. that night, People were sending me videos because everybody knew how happy I that was. was. Mm. I I still have videos, pictures. People were sending me all sorts. David and Whiskey holding each other by the head. And ah, at, at that time, I just said the devil has finally lost the battle. How do we get? To, how did we get to, to this point then? Because because I'm not gonna lie, yeah, man. I did not see this one coming. No. Yeah. Yeah, I did not, but I knew that that was fire in the mountain. Yeah. When Whiskey, whether he posted the, the Davido meme, yeah, right, I saw that. I was like, 
Yo. I, I, I mean, it's you get me? Same... I saw that. I was like, yo, what's going on? You get me? And like... then, and then, bro, it just went left from there. Those emotions were, you know. You get me? It just went. Away, that, that, that raised emotions and that just, that just, that just took us back. That shit was crazy, Seven, bro. Eight, yeah, that shit was crazy. Bad. I started seeing that in the shade room, shade bar, all those on the place. I was like, yo, news. that shit crazy. It's a go global star, so yeah. it's top news. But why do you think Whiskey replied, big, um, or rather, why do you think Davido? Because Davido is the type of guy, he never really comments or whatever, right? Why do you think he went out Whiskey the way he did, right? Well, obviously, Bonaboy has been shooting at him for, for quite some time and everything, but he has never really replied Bonaboy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I looked at that and everything. I said, okay, what is really going on here? Because David, though, is usually the type where he kind of just, just keeps quiet. Whatever you say, it is what it is. Right? So why is it that he replied to Whiskey, but he never really replies to Bonaboy? I, I don't it? know, but I think this one just looked kind of personal. Yeah, it's probably with that meme as yeah, well. Yeah, I yeah. think this... I don't know, but I just think that this just look. This was just uh, it looked personal. Mm -hmm. With that, that, that to me, I just felt like that video was yeah. personal. Yeah, of course. To me, I, 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 I don't see anything funny about that. Hell no. Um, that that was like a low moment, bro. Yeah, a low and I moment. think as a human being, again, we all have to remember that we all got these low moments, bro. Shit. We do. Nobody. That is the scary thing about fame. Yeah. So we forget that, you know, these superstars are, are also human beings. As my own angle in recent years, and my own calling is to remind all of us that we're all human beings. Mm. That's it. And you can get caught up. If you we're can all get human up, beings, man. We have our low moments, you know, we have, everybody's got relationships and all of these stuff, like, he, you know, I want to know what people will find out when they dig into your relationship. Yep. Yep. When they come speak to your girlfriend or my wife or whatever, they, they, they'll tell you. Kelly, what do you think really they're going to find out, bro? When, when, ah, when man, they dig into your one, bro? It's going to be bad, they find bro. out, it's going to be... There's going to be a balance. 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 Bro. Bro. <laughs> Brother, I'll be honest with you. It's going to be bad because a lot of us, you know, Everybody's just trying to live day to day. We're making mistakes on a daily. We're trying to be better human beings, yeah. better men, better fathers, better husbands. Sometimes we're failing at stuff. Sometimes, but yeah. A bro. lot of people don't know yeah. because we're not in that position. Yeah. So when our own linen is front and center, mm. I want to ask people how they would feel if people came at when, you like that. If your own linen was the topic of discussion mm -hmm. because people have access to it. Mm. That's, you know? that's, that's yeah. it. Yeah. We need to always remind people of this angle or else we're going to keep going down the roots of just, uh, everybody's cruise, just laughing cruise, cruise, away. Yeah. And now nah, this is real life. That's actually crazy, yeah. This is real life for people. This is real life for men, women, children. You know, this can affect bread and butter. Even, you know, with, with David's uh, comment on Twitter, you know, alleging uh, domestic abuse. Bro, you know, that shit was crazy, man. So those type of comments as well, those are comments that can affect livelihoods. Affect you understand what I mean? Yeah. This, so that's my, so when I'm trying to say, whoa, 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 hey, guys, no, no, no. Because I know that as human beings, when we slip into that dark tunnels of hell, Oh, There's back. people can pull stuff out that yeah, yeah. we will not be able to come back from. Like, you know, I'll, I'll give you a personal example. Like, this is like a personal story of mine. Like, in my relationship with my missus, like, when we have arguments, mm. one of my favorite statements is, whatever you say, don't just say something that by tomorrow morning, you, can't take you it will back. not be able to have yeah. Yeah, you, have you cannot take because it back, bro. my mind is sadly like an elephant. That's yeah, why yeah, I'm yeah. in the media. Yeah, my mind holds on to information. Yeah. Same as well. And and deal with deals with it. So 
Whatever, yeah. whatever you want to say, whatever you want, let's you can Just be mad as a man <laughs> that by tomorrow morning when we decide to squash this beef, we're still good. Nobody left anything on the table yeah. that you're thinking. Yeah, we're still good. How dare you say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's my own thing. Yeah. That's Whenever right. we're scrapping, please let's make sure that we don't put something out that tomorrow morning you'll be ashamed. That's what J. Cole stepped away from. Mm. He didn't want to see himself in he five years' time hell. where he'll be like, nah. Mm. That's why he said... Did I really do that? When he said, listen, I'll be honest with myself, I enjoyed Kendrick Lamar's album. So me calling his album whack is not being genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Because he couldn't... He, he looked himself in the mirror and thought, man, nigga, I'm lying. I'm lying, bro. <laughs> I'm lying to myself. <laughs> I'm copying, bro. <laughs> I'm copying, bro. <laughs> That's it. And that's, that's the fact. thing. That's you a know, fact. And, and that that for me is it. So once that Twitter comments and all of those things started to really dig into holes for me. Yeah, just step away from it. We've we've now we've it's it's exploded. Yeah, that's it, crazy. How do men look each other in the eyes after this? After publicly, you know, pulling each other in those directions, alleging drug abuse, alleging domestic abuse, uh, you know, putting memes and videos, personal intimate videos. Out. How do we solve that? Um, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe the younger guys have a way of solving those type of things, but I don't know how we can, how I can get past you a legend call, that, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. how. No, bro. Even though me, I'm, that I'm very cool, I don't like, but I don't know how I'll be able to go past that. I'm the same as you. And to me, that's for a reason why I mentioned about the, you know, having the old, the old head in the industry, right? Calling yeah. everyone into our room and say, yo, guys, you guys don't have to be friends, but come on. You know what I mean? And yeah. to me, you know, it has not happened. And yeah. I keep on asking why. Because because we know people that got they influence tried. that probably and everything. Sure you know what I'm saying? Tried, but these you are know? big men. This kid might look like he might be whiskey and looks very young forever. Yeah, he's Whiskid a grown-ass man. Yeah. He's a big man. You know, he's been a big man since he was 18 years old. This guy's been calling shots since he was 18 years old. But this I'm guy sure that became, he has somebody that he respects, though. But, but listen, again, since he was 18 years old, they've had to be dealing with this guy as a made man. This guy was selling out venues at 19, 20, traveling around the world, making millions for not only himself, but the labels and the people that he was working with. That's number one. Number two, Whiskey is the only son with sisters, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah. So even in his own family, Whiskey has been a man that everybody deferred to mm. as the man mm. since he was 18. Mm. We're in 2024. This is almost like 15 years after. Mm. David O, this is a leader of his entire camp. Mm. This is a made man. Mm. This is a father, a husband. You know, these guys, are, they're parents. Mm -hmm. So even though they, you, they, there are OGs that can say, yo, even when I talk, when I send messages to David or I send messages to, to Whiskey or whatever, whatever, I address them like I'm addressing somebody my age. Mm. And that's basically because of their life experiences. Sometimes people might be younger than you in age, but have experienced more than you. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Of, of, because absolutely. of their positioning. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I can't even imagine the kind of decisions that these guys are making. The likes of Bonaboy and then Yemi Aladeti was savage or whatever. I can't. I can't imagine some of the decisions that they make. Mm. How to say I have this little one two decisions that I make a shout out to my cousin. That's that's my cousin. Salute my guy. Like that. Sometimes he just calls me up and he's like, "Yo, man, you gotta do this. What's going on here? Blah yeah. blah blah." And I'm like, "Oh my man, I'm, I don't have the energy today." Exactly. Yeah. And imagine these people are making each one of those names I mentioned from Waze Bernard, then David Do, Yemiti, what flavor Olamide. They have a minimum of 50 people on the payroll. Mm. Yep. Mm. Minimum. Yeah. Are they worried that they di directly? Directly feed off of each decision that they make. Yeah. 
at that level, when you have to approach those people, there has to be a level of respect. That's so enough. even if the OG wants to call them into the room to talk to them, to say, man, squash this, that, that, that. There has, has to be some sort of respect. Yeah, there has to be a respect to it, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this is them whiskey. What's that CEO of Tony Mil and Lumenlu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. they go and see him and the way he speaks to them, he speaks to them as... These are entrepreneurs yeah, bro, absolutely, bro. that have generated billions. Yeah, that's a fact. It, it, it's, it's, it's almost impossible. That's so you can fact. only appeal to them and try to make them understand that, yo, it's not even about everybody liking each other or loving each other or whatever. If there was something that went wrong somewhere, maybe it's, there's an opportunity to fix this. If not, let's just turn the positive energy towards our work and the culture because that has benefited us is giving us a voice, is giving us an opportunity. And the more we focus on that than pulling ourselves apart, that's what the opposition want. Yeah, but, but keeping at this, but do you think, I think, it's all gloom and gloom, but you think we've got to that point where there's no coming back? I don't think that like, in this case, I for don't me, think we've got in as there. As a human being, man, you I think I, we're there. No, for me as a human being, I, I operate differently. There's nothing I can't forgive um, because I, Whenever I'm angry, I notice that whenever I'm angry against someone that's done something towards me, I carry something in me mm. that's like, they, it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, same here as well. Bitter. My energy mm. is it's different. evil. It's different. Mm. It's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My energy is evil. I'm like, I just wish that because you did this negative thing towards me, I'm wishing 20-fold of negativity to come your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that shit doesn't even make me sleep. Yeah. So I'm quick to just say, listen, man, just carry your own man, they go. I'm just go, Even yeah. so, just come up for there so yeah. I can forgive. So if you now come and, and then try to meet me at a level where you say, listen, man, I made a mistake, I apologize, whatever, we could rock it out. So, you, so you think, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you think <laughs> someone should different. apologize now? People like are in different. this case, because so, people have done wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have done wrong. It's public. Mm. You know, some of the comments that were used at addressing yeah. each other. Yeah, out of line. Great. Hey, down how are we gonna? Line, yeah. yeah, some of the memes that were put up. How do you come out from that? How do I say I respect my friend? Yeah, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. Yo, let's have some fun right now. Yeah, obviously we got some new music and everything, man. Okay. It came out and everything today, or rather last Afro night. Afrobeat music or? Uh, Afrobeat music. Afrobeat music bro. Afro other music. <laughs> I know, Afrobeat music, bro. Yo, listen. Afrobeat or Afro other Oda. music, bro. What do you think about that, though? I think it's, uh, I think it's a very, very disappointing view. Mm. Yeah. I think people have slaved and worked for an umbrella that gave us a voice. If not for the collective voice, mm. we would not have a category at the Grammys. Mm. If not for a collective voice, we will not have a category at the Billboard Awards. Mm. If not for a collective voice, the NBA All-Star Halftime Show would never have happened with some of our biggest and brightest superstars. Mm. If not for a collective voice, we will not have the Afrobeats official chart in the UK and America. If not for a collective voice, we will not be at the O2 being as shocking things That's down, a fact. Being headline news. That's a fact. So when people talk, whatever they're talking, however they're talking, whatever categories they want to be in, that is absolutely fine. But respect the culture. Yep. That paved the way That's a fact. for you to be able to have a voice. That's a fact. As long as you respect, it's almost everybody can be an individual. I, lo I love, you know, everybody saying that they're doing this and doing that. That's fine. But respect that culture, that genre that's gone beyond just music is now dance, is now food, is fashion, yep. is swag, is energy, is everything. The way is language. Afrobeats yeah. is me. I'm I'm Afrobeats. That's yep. that's me. That's how I move. Mm -hmm. I talk. Everything around me. I don't give a damn about no mainstream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mainstream mm -hmm. identity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this is the thing though. I actually believe, right? First of all, before I get to that. The only person that I've seen that really, really broke it down for me yeah. that I really enjoyed was Davido. He was on the podcast called um, yeah. Business yeah. Untitled or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Right? And the way he explained it away, right, it made sense. Right? Because, yeah. yes, because I'm an African guy, yeah. right? You always fall into this trap where if I do an R&B song or whatever, they call it Afrobeat. So should I surprise you? Talk to me. 
How many R and B songs have you done that they categorized in the R and B category, coming from where you're coming from? And how many times have you actually been successful above the uh, the people making R and B in in the official R and B market like <laughs> America and Co. Mm. Yeah, no, that's one delusion. They, they like to play. So now that yeah. Beyonce has done a country album, is she a country musician? Not no, no. Oh, when she did an Afrobeats album, was she an Afrobeats musician? No, Hell no. So what is Beyonce? She is R&B pop, pop whatever. Bang! Mm-hmm. Your initial identity does not box you or stop you from doing whatever else you want to do, mm. as long as you you categorize that music mm. and that's it and present it to the world. Mm. You know, just because Beyonce did an Afrobeats album, we never said from then on she's become an Afrobeats artist. She sampled, she sampled genres. She went into genres. She did that. You could do a hip hop album, do whatever it is you want to do. Let's go. Yeah. Make that happen. Yeah. But I think the problem for me is that whenever these conversations are being had, I feel like there's always a negativity or that a negative with energy that, that, comes, that with comes with like, nah, man, I, do, I don't want to. Yeah. Nah, man, don't put me in that Afrobeats kind of. Nah, man, I ain't one of those. Guys. I'm, ab- I'm above that. You know, now. for a lot of people. You know, some people are wise enough to have that conversation without that type of demeaning low, but other people are not wise enough yeah. to, to have those conversations yeah, 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 without disrespecting everybody else. Yeah. You know, but I think it's not only an African disease. I think it's a black disease. We it's saw a black thing. we saw Caesar, Caesar say she was in R and B. Yeah, that's the only thing everybody in the world knows Caesar for R and B. How great she is at R and B. Yeah. All the nominations she receives, was all the R&B. O2 arena she sells, all the young fans and all these people that love her, mm. love her for that. Not that oh she wants to be in a toss. Guess what? Robin Thicke and. Uh, uh, what's my brother's name now? Robin Thicke and that other white brother that's someone to love, someone to know. Joe, mm. um, I've forgotten his name, Legend. the white guy. No, no. no Joe, no. Joe, I've forgotten his name. Robin Thicke, what music does he does he tell you that he makes? R&B. Mm. The white guy don't have a problem saying he no. makes R&B music. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we do. For some reason, we do. <laughs> For some weird reason, we do. Yeah, yeah. so that's it. Yeah. And let me... Let me play you something that I saw yesterday that was just mind blowing. So this is um, Jim Jones talking about meeting Fali Pupa. Nah, yeah? nah. I was at a dinner, a Casablanca dinner in Paris, mm-hmm. and I got to meet Fali Pupa. That's his name. That's that's Oh yeah, Fali yeah, yeah, Pupa. Yeah, 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 who is this? <laughs> 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 this guy, somebody. Somebody was like telling me, like, yeah, you know, African artists like DeVito and all that. He's in a, his shit is different. Mm. Because no, he's, have to he's not, out. he's not singing, his his music is like, I don't know if it's that. traditional African music, uh. it's not like the DeVito type of music. Mm. So basically, what we running away from, that's what they're coming to us for. That's yeah. what they're coming to us for. That's a fact. But that's how I've always seen. That's why when so I see them... that traditional yeah. African essence that some people see as a cause no. that that's they don't want to be affiliated with... That's a fact. That's what makes these people that you're running towards come to actually you see you different. Yeah, come yep. to you for. Yep. That's what they're coming for. Yeah, because... What Tim Jones was saying there is that, well, yo... This guy is doing 80,000. He does traditional African music, man. This guy, his source is different. That's, that's what he liked. Mm. When you go and see Burner Boy, when he gets into his African moment and you see the traditional drums and everything, that's what they're coming for. That's a fact. That's and to that. you, that's the curse. That's what, no, I don't want to That's what you want to run away from. I want to be cool, pop, and that's carry, carry Go on. get it done, man. Let's carry see what's going on on the streets out there. That's a fact. <laughs> nah, nah, true, 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 yeah, true. That's a fact. Let me see how it's going to work with that billboard charts. 
when you're when you're contesting with the weekend, I mm. want to see that. <laughs> Bro, <that's Yeah. laughs> when you're contesting with Katy Perry and Billie Eilish, I want to see Adele that. Bro, Adele and everyone, bro. That's when you're crazy, rocking bro. with Adele and Te- Eddie, Ed, what's his name? Ed Sheeran, I want to see that. That's a whole different shit. Yeah, Ed that's Sheeran, a whole different shit. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Ed Sheeran, you think Ed Sheeran jumped on Peru because he was R and B? Exactly. Yeah. Because it, uh, exactly. it, was. no, it wasn't because, cause because, it, because it was what it was. It was Afro beats, man. He said it a million times. He got because they they do yeah. everything else. They do everything else, but they you know, don't do this. The thing is this, man. What makes you special? What makes you different? Is that source that we come with? Mm. Don't ever forget that. Don't don't stay away from it. The minute we we let it go, we lose that. Uh, we're done. Thames has been doing alternative type of R and B music from day one, ever since she stepped into the game. But guess what? Mm-hmm. Her latest single. She has to, she had to go back. Afro beats. Yeah, Not only just to. the Afro beats, she even made the vi- video so African. Yeah, so African because bro. she's trying to reintroduce herself to the world. That yes, I can give you RB alternative sounds, but I also come from the Afro song. I come from so Afro get that song. right. <laughs> this right here is Stamps. Love, Love me, JJ. JJ. <laughs> All up in your DSPs right now on YouTube, dawg. You go on me, go check that shit out right now, bro. You get me? Bro, this is that African sauce. I swear to God and swear down. Let's go. So fresh, so clean. Love me in and out. Is this R&B? Is this R&B? Bro, this shit crazy, man. This is my kind of music. This is African music, bro. With some international sauce. Yeah. Because I love and I love and I love. Shout out Thames, shout out Guilty Beats. Bro, the I first time I heard this, right? I, need I was need like, what is this? We're gonna see how this song gonna go. You know, uh, it, you don't see. Yeah. Bro, this shit is crazy. Yeah. Bro. I'm on your way right now. This is banging, bro. Yeah. You know? hey, I'm on your vibe yeah. now. You got me on your side That's now. Yeah. Oh, bro, this is different. Bro. That's it, bro. It's yeah. very simple, bro. It's, yeah. So it's for me, I don't have any bro. problem with anybody trying to say that they do different types of music. I think that's fantastic. I think it. I think we even support that. We it helps us even open we up. We support that. We want that, but don't just come here. Don't shit on your thing and kill what's what's worked and, and what continues mm-hmm. to open doors. Like, you know, P Square is still selling out arenas mm. in Europe, bro. Mm. Don't play with that. Mm. Don't you dare. Talk anyhow to flavor mm. until flavor tomorrow. Yeah. Is shutting down arenas in Europe. Electrica. Don't Pussica. even mention <laughs> or play around your me alade, man. They're killing shows, yeah. 70, 80 shows a year. Shit. On that bread and butter. Steady. Making millions of dollars. I know they won't like me saying that, but they're making millions of dollars on this same thing, bro. So you have to understand that this thing is beyond just sitting in rooms, you know, at international platforms and talking the way we're talking and kind of confusing the people that are trying to learn from us. Mm, 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 mm. Afrobeats changed African perception, changed our story. Ghana in December, Lagos in December is because of Afrobeats. I said it here on Fresh Off the Pope podcast. That's right. That's right. That's a whole Facts. fact. I mean, yeah. That's pa- a whole Prior fact. to the whole blow up, it was it. It's the yeah. reason. Yep. The concerts at home, David O'Burn, Boy Whiskey in Lagos, Accra, Sarkodie, you know, King Promise, Atubis, because people started to go home, enjoy these events, it became a thing. I hope we don't lose it, man. I hope we do uh, not well, lose it, man. I hope we do not lose it. We're there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think we will. I think we, we've got like fresh crops of No, guys but the coming. problem is we're already sowing seeds in their minds True. that people can come out and talk out of the collective voice. Collective voice is powerful. Yeah, like the movement in it. The collective voice is why we all went to LA in February when David O and Burner Boy are nominated. Mm-hmm. That's why YouTube had an Africa celebration. Mm. It's because of the collective voice. Mm, it's because true. of Afro beats music. Mm. You know, when we lose the collective voice and everybody yeah, starts done. to, you know, wherever, even if you're doing hip hop, Vector, Odumodu Block, Black, and all these guys, you're doing African hip hop, bro. Yep. yep. 
We you don't, don't want to. You think they're going to take you over Jay Z because she can drop bars from Lagos? Shit, uh, no. Nobody's no going to take you over Kendrick Lamar. Hell no. Drake is catching heat because he's from Canada, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's their neighbor fam. Yo, he, he's their neighbor fam. They're saying Drake is not thoroughbred. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. They're <laughs> telling you that, bro. Fam. That's a fact. <laughs> they're gonna come and take you from Joss. No. They say, "Mama, stop, stop, stop saying nigga, fam." No, you know what no, I mean? You're, you're, you're not from here. They're telling him straight away <laughs> he has no right in black culture because he's from Canada and mixed race. And, and, and you, you think, think you're that from they Lagos. will come? You will come from Enugu. And become the number one rapper in the world? No way. The man you're doing Afro it's rap. Hard. It's hard. And guess what? Do you know how incredible Nasty C is as a rapper? He's yeah. one of my favorite rappers yeah. in the world. Yeah. I, I don't listen yeah. to Nasty C's songs. Yeah. I listen to his album. Yeah. Very few people I do. Very few. I even introduced Nasty C's music to other rappers. Mm. Fino was in my car. I didn't even know Nasty had an album. He was like, what? I said, this is what I listen to every day. Mm. In in phenomenal album. Yes. He's been signed with Def Jam. He's been going to America. He's been with DJ Wu Kid, everything. Yeah. T.I. But they still ain't they giving him a break. Nah, nah, nah. nah. They're not accepting But they're not going to agree you. They're not going to agree you. Uh, but for that. Papa on it there alone. Whereas, if he had turned that attention firmly on Africa, yeah. on Afro hip hop, and mm. really dominating the continent. Mm. Nasty C could be doing 20,000 capacity venues across Africa mm. and bagging mm. just as much money as, and Jay Z and yeah. everybody as who wants to yeah. come and collaborate with him in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Very yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and he's then dope. they will give you that spotlight. He's dope. He's dope. But if we're trying to chase them, them that pop line, it's not going to work. Oh, I, yeah, because I'm a dope writer. We can do incredible music, and so that me and Adele can be in the same kind of thing. Good luck. They're not going to give you that accolade. Good luck. Unless Good luck. you're born and raised there. Bro, Fela Kuti had always been in the circles of the greatest pop stars in the world. Bro. Mm. With the same respect with them Beatles and Co. No, be my mind. Bro, I was listening to Joe Rogan. Tucker Carlson, you know Tucker Carlson. Of course, talking about them, Sonia yeah. Day. Sonia Day, bro, I was shocked. Uh, but, but, uh, don't worry. Bro, Tucker Carlson from Tucker the Carlson South. Carlson South, deep is South. Fox News. Conservative. Conservative white. Fox News, bro. He's talking about Sonia Day. Sonia Day, bro. I posted a video of Christy S. N. Igbokwe performing in South Korea in, yeah, in, in 1983 at the age of 23, singing in Yoruba. To audiences outside, bro. Asian audience, like a proper no, award no, show. Yeah, yeah. Me will cool down. Mm. Mm. cool down. My Jack Fasher closed out the David Letterman show in 1993. I remember yeah. so long and too long when the Malcolm X documentary was out. Mm. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. My Jack Fasher. So me will cool down. I we hope that we don't lose this. So relax. No, we hope that we don't lose this. We actually so need, need, need. I yeah. hope that we don't. In three, lose four this. years time. There gonna be new cats in the game. Shh. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Especially the ladies, bro. No, listen. You, know, you, you guys listen. already know what I think about. <laughs> what I think <laughs> about Ira Star, man. Y'all know I'm a believer, man. Yeah, you know I, bloody I, I think nobody. I don't think anybody can mess with Ira Star. Mm. I, listen. Yeah. <laughs> None of them. I'm male, male or female. I'm telling you. <laughs> I honestly, do, I honestly think here. Yeah, let me double down on that. I honestly <laughs> think, right? Baba. If you put some of these females and put some of these men, right? Some of these females are doing better music than some yeah. of these men. Better Baba. music, yes. What I know True. is, I don't care who you are, of that age category, within that culture. I don't care what makes me, genre of music you make. I pitch my talent. I put my bet. If on you're that a better man, uh, that, if you're a better man, she is phenomenal. I'm telling no, you, bro. I've seen it close, close quarters like this. I've seen her on stage. I've heard the music. This girl is the real deal. Shit. No cap. Trust me. Back, back, anything you've heard, that girl can will take us to arenas. She's there's no problem. She's 21, bro. And she is 21. And you, you have to understand that the IRS that we're talking about right now is 21. So three years ago, when she was shocking us, she was 18. Oh, that's wow. crazy. <laughs> it's, I know, yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, I, I don't, bro. No, I saw Twin One Savage. Play, bro. No, 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 I don't. Win. I saw Twin One Savage yeah, yeah, yeah. singing "What to Word" to comments, bro. No, 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 no. I don't. Everybody knows where I stand with I understand. Uh, there's no no Twin one captain, Savage, bro. no shaking. That girl is different. <laughs> and there's a lot of young girls coming up now, there, bro. There are there are girls no, coming I, up. I, right I, I, like, I like King Madi though. Yeah. King Madi is amazing. I think. I like King uh, the new lady from uh, Jones in World, Baghetti, is fantastic. Oh, yeah, Baguette, yeah. You know, bro, like get... Chella, Ray Chella, that's an amazing singer. The new generation, what I can tell you is they are talented. There's so this it's girl. Not, there's no gimmicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's not, this girl, yeah. yeah, who I would say you should listen to, Media Fash. I like this music. I, I like the artists and their different talents and their different genres. But I also feel that this slow genre that we jumped into mm. during the pandemic is also one of the reasons that Afrobeats is kind of slowed down. Mm. Because remember, the only reason people started to come towards us was because we were the life of the party. Yeah, the vibe. We got people dancing. We got people happy. Yeah. Now, this younger generation are so talented that their inspirations are completely different. Some of them want to sing depressive music. Some of them want to speak Af um, heart heartbreak music. Some of that's fantastic. My only fear sometimes is that our industry is not strong enough to promote these type of musicians as much as they deserve to be promoted. Mm. Them Rick Asanis, them Johnny Drills, yeah. these guys. We need to be able, uh, Spotify, Apple, these playlists. We need a lot more playlists that they can get into so that the world can hear it. Can hear them, yeah, 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 yeah. The Maybe Johnny that's the Drill reason is... why some of them are fighting to come out of the Afrobeats the box, box yeah. because it allows them to pitch into these other playlists. But it's going to be tough, though. I know, but I just think that we need a lot more to be able to elevate this incredible talent. I like the music. I listen to stuff like this a lot. But one of the reasons why I'm I'm such a fan of Ira is that she can do it all. Mm. She can get you that she dancing. She can too, give yeah. you a heartbreak record. She can give you rhythm and blues. She can get you she dancing. She can give you comma, and she can give you sabi girl. Do you think that that's one of the problems? Sabi that? girl, you know. <laughs> sabi girl. Yeah, give me sab Yo, I'll, I'll have Sabi girl any, any day of the week. So, any day of you the know, week. and I think that's where the power is. If you look at Burner Boy, you look at, you know, the power is the ability to morph and do different things. Mm. Because the, the, the different sections of the audience when it comes to African music as a whole, yeah. they, we, you cannot take dancing from us, that's why how we got the vibes, here. Right, the vibes. That's how we got Every here. form of traditional that's African music, here. from Fuji to Rumba to High Life, the dance. element that's juju is dance. Mm, 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 mm. It is dance. So when you 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 know once you're 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 really entertaining Africans and 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 doing this stuff, and you take that element away, there's a strong power that you've taken away from yourself. That's a fact. So that's what, look at Thames, Love Me Judge, that's, that's straight, Damages was also to the dance floor. Yep. <laughs> you know, even yeah. though she's traditionally like a, a singer, singer, yeah, look yeah. at Thames performing now Bro. and how she's dancing and she's in her bag right now. She's in a, because that African essence. It has the, to be there. It has, it has to be to there. For you to life, stand out. Yeah. About, it makes you your life out. so much easier that's because spice. that's the yeah, first yeah, thing yeah. That Africans resonate with. First of all, yeah, that's a fact. Yep, that's you a take fact. Take that away, you're already putting yourself in a position. Look at tech, techno mouse for crying out loud. That's a different type of king. Do you think that case that's a problem? Daniel? Mm, nah, case, case, case is. Do you think that that's it? a pro? That that's one of the problems that someone like Fireboy is running into, right? Because Fireboy just dropped a new song. Right and I think and Fireboy is an incredible artist. No, he's an incredible artist. But do you think because you can tell that he kind of pivot a little bit with his sounds? Fireboy always tells everybody that he started being a poet and a writer. Mm. So Fireboy always was somebody that likes to tell stories. A lot of storytelling. There's a lot of opportunity to do that on different sounds, R and B, pop. 
you know, because you want you want people to listen to you. Yeah. You know, and even if you listen to his first album, he had different sounds in there that Absolutely. you can listen to the yeah. storytelling. But I think Fireboy, there was a lot of pressure coming off of the hit record called Peru and oh, Peru man. Remix. But for me, Fireboy has enough catalog that he should just block the noise out. And just do his thing. Baba. This guy's still doing his thing now. Like, have you heard the new song that, that just dropped? Oh, yeah. But the problem is that the fans and the media, That's the problem. they're not taking it. Okay, search a song for me from Fireboy. I'm search one. Yeah. Yawa. Search Yawa. Right? Yeah. Y-A. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play that record. But the fans and oh. the media didn't they let us assimilate this, yeah. this record the way the it's song. supposed to be assimilated. So Fireboy has done what? He's dropped about three singles since then. Listen to this one, bro. Listen to this one. This, this bro. Is what it should be one of yeah. his... It should be... Bro, it should be his, listen oh. to this one every day. Every day. But what? That's the thing. So there are two problems. Number one, the fans and the media want every song from him to be a Peru right off the track. That's yeah. the problem. And number two... Having conversations like you're not making Afro beats, you're not doing this and that, also confuses certain people. A lot of people, yeah. So when you're confusing people, you people don't they underestimate the power of the tone. Like mm. what you've said to people in some places has even turned away some fans from you. Absolutely. Where whenever they list when your music comes out, they're like, they're not even sure what genre yeah, it's gonna yeah, be. Yeah. That's true. That's true. true. That's true. But That's you true. didn't really mean it like that. Nah. Yawa is a smash. What? This is an incredible record. What? But that pressure's on it. And that conversation has now made things difficult. And to me, yeah, that's the gift and cause with a, with, with, with a song as Peru, especially with, with the success, right? Because when it goes so big like that, right? Now everybody's suspecting that. No, yeah. And the problem and is when, you and, don't and, have and when to. they don't get that, right? No, they know, immediately right? just write the song off. It's just that they don't get that or they just don't give it a chance to get... No, just sit on it, bro. You two Mm. don't expect anything. Sit on the Yawa record, bro. Because that, yeah, I'm I'm surprised that Yawa did not go that far. That that song is a banger. We don't need to really... Yeah. In label, nobody released another single. Let's sit on Yawa Day for the next four months. Mm. Fireboy, only time promoting it. Let's go. That's a jam, bro. Let's go. That is a jam. Because I remember when I'm like, yo, this is best. But for me, Peru and, and Yawa, I can't. It's agree. up there. It's up there. Bab, it's, it's up, up there, there for me. It's up there. So like, that's, it's up there. that's it. You know, for me, I just think that those conversations muddy the water. It affects our talent. It affects the way people receive our music. It affects the way fans react to the artists. And if you're unlucky, this thing can also stop your trajectory. I, or I personally think that everyone should just refrain from that conversation. Or, yeah, or you know, I don't yourself. do Afrobeats, yeah. I do this. Bro, just bro, refrain from that, bro. It? What's Afrobeats? Listen, Afrobeats is part of our culture. That's it, who we it's are, bro. Music is everything. And underneath that, we make other types of yeah. genres, which I like to indulge in. I make R&B, pop, I make hip-hop and stuff. But Afrobeats is the movement that, we, you know, a lot of us understand that opened the doors for us. That's and how some people won the, the yeah, fucking Grammys, bro. That's how they even got nominated. That's why they created categories for there us. There you go. That's what's headline on CNN. That's there you what's go. headline on whatever. That's how they understood who we are. So just leave it alone, man. Do your own thing. You're there. God bless you, whatever. But don't put a bullet through the head of what feeds millions of that's people. A yeah. That's a fact. Listen, we're gonna yes. end it on this one right yes, now, bro. Yes, yes. Listen, brother. Salute, man. It's so always you, man. big one, there if you like you coming down all the time, bro. Like, like we always say that you are the official, unofficial member Thank of the FTV. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Anytime, and it. listen, we appreciate you. Anytime we give you a call. Thank you. You're like, listen, bro, I'm coming down and everything, bro. Straight away. You go, know I mean, because we know you are a busy man. No, yeah. man, thank you. You go, know I mean, traveling all around the world, bro. Thank I see you, you for Ghana, I see you Ninja, I see you there. I'm I say, down there. you go, know I mean, I say, God, better pull me for your suitcase. You go, know I mean, let Don't me follow you, too, baby. You get me? Those you know? are some of the opportunities that the culture has there you afforded go. some of us. There you so go, that's a fact. When we continue to be humble and grateful, it's because of that. That's a fact. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to end this on this note and everything. And we're going to be checking out with Fireboy every day. Listen. I'm, so wanting, us to, I'm wanting us to leave with Kiss Daniel. Okay, yeah, okay. Which one? Which one? Which one? Kiss Daniel and David Doe, bro. Kiss Daniel and David Doe, yeah. yeah I think that's... 
<laughs> Shout out Kiss Daniel, yeah. bro, man. Yeah, that, that's a hit you maker. Know, that, that's a hit nah, maker. Nah, nah, nah. We got we to gotta end yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's Daniel Davido, yes. Twe Twe. All right, listen, 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 listen. Shout out to all the freshers around the world. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. And for that, we salute you a lot, man. Listen, subscribe to the channel, Fresh of the Boat Podcast on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Watch the videos. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Well, tell an enemy to tell a because friend. Because they got friends too. And yeah. also go check out this episode on your DSPs, bruv. On your Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, you know, whatever podcast, bro. Anywhere you did, we did it, right? Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere then. You get me? And until next time, let's Peace go. Peace and love. <laughs>